Nice fire. Mind if I warm my bones? <laughs> Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. <laughs> and we're gonna protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on, let's go. I think you got the message. Go kill you next time. <laughs> you boys chose the wrong mark!
things. Oh, the things is all right. Were you in? Good evening, Arthur. Evening. You ever miss home? Sure. All the time. You okay, okay Karen? Sweetheart. Hey there. Hey, Mama. Good evening, Arthur. All good, Miss Grimshaw. My table awaits your offerings, <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Ah, I hear you. Good. We really needed this. Thank you, Arthur. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. By the long faces. What's wrong with all of you? Goddamn whiners. Complainers. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. Evening, Arthur. So you brought the loudmouth kid back to us. I'm sorry. I wanted them to hang him. <laughs> well, he amuses me. You done good, Arthur. Loyalty. <laughs> you revolt me. Please don't be like this, Mr. Morgan. You grasping, money lending scum. Come on, that's enough. I should slit your throat. Just go away, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. When the time comes, how you think you'll act? I ain't giving him much thought. Well, I have. A lot. I think we'll be okay. But then again, well, maybe not. We are all just creatures living, as it were, on a sea of magma. All is temporary. Ain't no souls. Ain't nothing. But this. I guess I plan on leaving with a hole shot in me. Hosea. What, Arthur? Everything okay? Well, I'm still alive. Well, let's keep it that way. All right, Arthur. gentlemen. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. Uh, what did he say? 
Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Ladies. Good morning. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. All right then, Arthur. Not you again. Morning, Arthur. You heard from any O'Driscolls? No, of course not. I've been here with you a lot. If you do, you make sure you tell us, okay? Good, take care. Let's go, boy. Yeah. for love. Help a blind man. Have this. Make your final moments your best moments, sir. No glory and forget about shame. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess.
Easy, whoa. Come on now, boy. Yeah. Maybe she'll change your mind. Who's there? Well, you come once, we're closer and we'll kill you dead. Idiot. I assume you know you're covered in blood. Good morning. All right, I guess. Okay. Before you come any closer, the answer is no. What did I want? You wanted money. Just to listen to this passage. It is 
Beautiful. Who, who is it, Dutch? It's Mr. Miller, of course. An essay on the allegory of impotence. Yeah, not a bad day for it. So, the question the seeker of allegorical potency should ask himself, or indeed herself, if potency is not itself too masculine a concern for our sisters to be concerned with, is this. Is it in the seeking that we find, or in the finding that we seek? Ah. While this might seem a pathway towards insanity, it is an important distinction, and also a clear one. He who finds things is wise, but he who continues to seek is ever more free. Ever more free. Isn't that the most wonderful idea of all? Well, I guess it is quite pretty. Pretty? It's magnificent. My dear, magnificent. Ever more free. That's, that's us. If we keep seeking, How's it going? we will find freedom. Be okay. Now you two better get back to work. Go on. What do you think, Arthur? I don't think too much, Dutch. Not about that kind of crap, anyway. Hello. Good morning, Arthur. Looks like a good book there. Very enjoyable. Well, I'll leave you to it. Whatever you say. Hey. Hi, and all that. <laughs> a drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just taking the edge off. Hey, fellas. Good morning, Arthur. You good there? Hello. Of course. Why? You always are. Sounds good. How did we end up over this way? Huh? Well, I guess we know the answer to that. Thank you. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <sighs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Hi, Charles. Hey. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure, you're <laughs> It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Hi, 
I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Yeah. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Now first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! Ah, damn it. Didn't get him. Oh, no! Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Got one, Jack. Look, Jack! It's a rock bass. Yeah, it's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Fish on the line. Did you see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This one's a bluegill. <laughs> Not bad. Fishy. 
Everything sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? There! Got him! I see! I see! What? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. So did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. 
It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> yep. I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Hey, Morgan. Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Excuse me? You know, <laughs> hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some. Sure, I'll buy you some hair pomade. <laughs> My pa used to speak about intellectuals like him as the scourge of the American mind. Here's that, uh, hair pomade you wanted. Well, look at that. Thanks, Morgan. I, I owe you one. I reckon we should both just forget this ever happened. Well, I'm keeping the faith. <laughs> there he is. Hello. Hey, I hear Mary's been seen again. Sure. Well, I always thought... Well, she seems real nice. She had better ideas than me. She ain't the only one. Well, I should get back to it. Take care, Arthur.
Wipe that snooty look off your face for one minute, will you? I don't want to get into this, please. You're a vagrant, not an accountant. Just leave me be, will you? I swear, you must have calluses from patting your own back. Just get away from me. You gonna pass out in your own shit again? Oh, give it a rest, Morgan. You bring in no money and drink ten times your share. What the hell got into you? You're like a goddamn tick, sucking us dry. Well, I'm gonna pretend you ain't here. Don't start with this again. How are you? Good. Thanks again for taking Jack fishing. Sure, not a problem. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah, goodbye. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. <sighs> Or I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Hi there, Arthur. Pearson. I don't like the way you're acting around here, Arthur. There's no need for it. I remember when you were Dutch's number one, Miss Grimshaw. You're being a real idiot, Arthur. Now, Lenny. <laughs> You're too smart to spend the rest of your life robbing banks. What do you think America is? America? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Mr. Miller, again. <laughs> it's my weakness. What do you think America is? I get you. Well, it's like you said, America's a club. But it should be? An idea. Did I teach you that? You taught me the phrasing, but my dad had taught the ideas almost before I could <sighs> speak. Were no fun being an educated Negro for him. No. No, I don't imagine that it was. I always get the feeling he was a great man, your Paul. Not great, just normal and good. <laughs> I sure turned out different. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe those of us that still believe in the ideas of America, maybe we're the true Americans. And those buffoons in their clubs, How's that food they're the out, traitors. Huh. The first, maybe. Only problem, Dutch, is we don't make the rule. They do. Yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? Hi, Dutch. Hello. You okay? Hi, Arthur. Jose. Hi, Arthur. Mood seems pretty good around here. It does. Well, guess we should enjoy it while it lasts. Sure, Arthur. Why don't you sit, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> it's their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. 
Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so... I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... I'm realistic about what's coming. But I keep acting really crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Hey. Lenny! You've been doing good. Thanks, Arthur. Transport, keep clear. It weren't my fault. I don't deserve to be locked up. Like we haven't heard that before. So, what did they do? The hell do you think you're doing? Come on, please. Let me out of here. Oh, just shut up. Shut up. Boom. Now. Just on my you've way. You used up my patience. I said leave. Yeah. Now get going. Yeah. 
easy. 